Give you one of them bad boys right there. Hey guys, today at Barbecue Rockstar, we are going to uh, we're gonna do our little uh, Monday night dinner here. I was not gonna make a video initially, but I thought, what the hell, I'll share it with you guys. Um, tonight, what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna do what I consider um, old school chicken and rice, but kicked up a notch, right? So I'm going to uh, embellish the flavors to my liking. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna set this tripod down so you can see what I'm doing uh, and I'll try to explain step by step as I go. Here we go. That is our oven guys. It is preheated to 375 degrees and what we've got here guys is we have got um, basically two pounds of uh, bone-in skin on chicken thighs. Uh, we try to use Pilgrim's Pride whenever we can get it because they do have a good product. We're gonna hit this with a little bit of, a, of our Bolner's Extra Fancy Chicken Rub. You've seen me use this on the channel before. And then prior to coming on camera, guys, we did use some of our uh, Fire and Smoke Thundering Longhorn uh, Beef Rub. Very hearty, cumin, coriander. I think it's got some chili powder in there. It's got smoked paprika and all the good stuff. Also, we'll off camera, guys, to save time, we went ahead and did our Italian uh, throwback which is gonna be your red bell pepper, your sweet 1015 onion. And because it is hatch chili season, guys, you know, we got to have the fresh hatch chili peppers. And what we're gonna do here is we've got, off camera, I did this to save time because I realized my videos kind of wander sometimes. I took and I greased with a half a stick of butter this uh, uh, nine by nine, uh, uh, what do you call it, Pyrex pan, rights, Applewood smoked bacon. I think I've got five strips here on the bottom and I put one cup of dry parboiled rice. Um, this mixture actually is half white rice and half jasmine rice. I've got that sitting over here to the side, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, guys, we've got one can of cream of chicken soup, okay? This is very simple, very old school, something your mom would make back in the 70s. In this bowl, guys, I've got one cup of water, H2O for all of you scientific types. We're gonna combine the water and the uh, and the uh, and the chicken uh, cream of chicken. We're gonna combine that, guys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir that up, and we're gonna make basically our base for our for our gravy that's gonna make. Uh, as, as this product bakes in the oven. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, to add all of our vegetables here. I'll tell you what, let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this to where you can see it. So the pan with the rice and the bacon, right? I'm going to go ahead, I'm going ahead and layer all of the veg on top of the rice, okay, and the bacon. Now, if you're freaking out that why would why would you put bacon in there if you're gonna put liquid in there? Bacon should you know be dry. Well, you'll see in the, you'll see at the end result, guys, why I do that. Okay. So now we've got our bacon, our rice, and our veg. To that, we're going to layer on our pre-seasoned skin-on bone-in chicken thighs, thusly. We're just gonna layer them in as tightly as we can pack them. Okay. And uh, we're gonna go skin up. And you'll see why also at the end of this video why I do it skin up. A lot of you probably already gathered why I do it skin up. We're just gonna pack all this in, okay? Actually, you know what? Er, folks, <laughs> I'm not gonna re-edit this. I'm not gonna redo all this. You're gonna see this as it goes, okay? I'm gonna do this for you the way it happens, okay? We're not going to put the chicken in there. What we're gonna do I'm gonna whisk this together, okay? Go ahead and add all this, guys, okay? We're gonna add that. And then to that, that's where we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken thighs. I think I like this approach better because, you know, I could have uh, put the chicken thighs in and put the, uh, the chicken base on top, but then I'd wash away all my seasonings that I just worked hard to to get on top of that skin. And as we dry that skin out, we're gonna need that seasoning to uh, to get our crust. 
So, uh, which we will do after this gets done cooking. Guys, this is gonna cook in the oven at 375 degrees. Uh, we're gonna put this in the oven for one hour, okay? At which time I will take it out. I will look at it and see what it needs. Probably a little bit of olive oil on top, which I will go ahead and hit this right now. Just a little bit of olive oil on top to help crisp that skin, okay? Olive oil, right? You need that little fat in there. Put this in the oven, guys. One hour, we'll be back. What we will do then, we'll crank up the broiler. We'll put it back in the oven under the broiler and we'll crisp the skin. Let it rest for about an hour and then we'll be ready to eat. We'll be back, guys. Okay guys, we just took that out of the oven. As you see there, we are going to remove the foil, see what she looks like, and then put her uh, under the boiler to let her finish, uh, finish cooking that. Oh boy, that looks good. That looks absolutely drop dead gorgeous. as you can see that, right? All that steam coming off of there, that's gonna be great. Looks like the rice is cooked down below. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this in the, uh, in the broiler now. And that will crisp up our skin. It'll help the liquid cook off a bit. And then we will be ready to eat. Back in a minute. Beautiful, delicious, crunchy, crispy, beautiful chicken thighs and rice and apple smoked bacon. Guys, thanks so much for joining us today on this little weeknight meal. I hope that you enjoyed it and gained some valuable information. Until we meet again, Barbecue Rockstar out. Peace.